Sean White, Kakubo Legold. Youngest medal winner in X Games history. Youngest competitor we have in the entire event here at Winter X. She is one to watch. It's amazing that Jamie Anderson somehow is only 20 years old. No doubt about it, she is a naturally gifted athlete. Jamie Anderson, the winningest woman in slope style history. She's got four golds, two silvers, two bronze. She has these tricks so out. Jamie Anderson has never missed the podium in any X game appearance. I mean, her stat sheet's like a novel. Where do you put all that hardware? Most dominant rider in slope style history. And she's a favorite here today, Cap. Double nine, that was so sick. All she does is podium in slope. She really doesn't know what fourth place feels like. Podium perfect in 14 slope style starts. That's 16. Just list, that's stat. 16. X Games medal. The most successful winter and summer X Games German athlete we have ever seen. What more can be said? This is her seventh slope style gold medal. Her 18th X Games medal. Already the most decorated woman in X Games history. Jamie Anderson wins her second gold medal of X Games Aspen 2021. The eighth gold of her career. Her 19th X Games medal. That's why she has all those medals. There is so much coming at you at the X Games. Jamie homes in, she focuses, and she puts it down. The most decorated athlete in this discipline's history dropping in now for her 23rd X Games. You can never count out Jamie Anderson, and she proved that yet again. Holy smokes. 21 Winter X Games medals. That's the most all time. The most hardware you could possibly have. I don't know how she keeps doing it, but she keeps progressing her riding. She keeps making it look easier somehow, which I don't even understand, but she deserves everything she has got. True competitor. Something I've taken away from all the years of competing is learning to be really present and enjoy each moment because, bam, <laughs> time flies. When I first got into competing, I was really ambitious and hungry and just like so excited. And you evolve as you grow up. And I feel like my approach as I've grown has become a lot more peaceful. Still have that competitive heart and fire, but more at like an ambition for my own highest good, trying to be my own best self on and off the mountain and that translates into my performance. Getting out of your comfort zone benefits everyone in different ways, but you know, it's easy to kind of live in a safe haven and like not want to 
reach your goals or dreams. Like it's scary to dream big and it's scary to think about failure and let down and all those things. But without getting out of your comfort zone, you don't really know your full potential. And I feel like humans are so incredible. We all have so much potential in this world and we got to just buckle up and send it. And I think it comes in your own timing, sometimes like a life lesson or a life scare, but yeah, life is meant to be lived. Having the privilege to go ride in Alaska is next level. It's literally the last frontier of your snowboarding. And it takes so much strength and courage to ride down those lines. I get really, really terrified. And, you know, I've had the blessing of going four times. And each time I learn a different lesson and just have more gratitude and appreciation to mother nature and just how incredible those peaks are. I have looked up to Elena for a really long time. We met when we were literally eight years old and I feel so lucky we got to get on this trip together. I really admire her riding and learned a lot from her over the years and it's really fun to connect with women and empower each other and be there for each other and lift each other up.
feel like all the different contrasts of snowboarding from competitive riding, park riding, backcountry into Alaska just kind of prepares you to push yourself and get out of your comfort zone and whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly and enjoy it. Especially as women in this world, like we're really, really hard on ourselves and I think we need to honor the feminine power within us and tune in to our like really powerful intuition and get clear on like what brings us joy and how we can be of service to this beautiful world. The amounts of times I've just completely failed, crashed, like exploded, especially on like live TV at X Games is like astonishing. There were times where my spirit was just so broke and I was in such a dark place. I was depressed. I, I hated snowboarding. I at times even hated myself. And I think rising above and looking at yourself and learning what you can from that experience, it gives you so much wisdom and wisdom you can't buy. It comes through experience and through growing and aging and working with therapists or counselor or good friends and I think we all need help sometimes and it's okay to reach out and know that you're not alone and I have so much gratitude for all the lessons I've learned and I'm sure there'll be more to come.